Over the years, I've owned many different wallets, from massive fabric ones, to more traditional leather ones, to clamshell aluminium ones, and even the odd travel wallets. But the one I've been using for the past month might just be the best wallet I've ever owned. It's technically called the minimalist and slim bifold front pocket wallet with money clip for men by Runbox, but that's a ridiculously long name, so I'm just going to call it the Runbox Slim Wallet. It's available from Amazon.ca for $25 and Amazon.com for $16 at the time of this recording. Now, there are a few reasons why I really like this wallet. The first one being that the Runbox Slim Wallet looks like an actual wallet instead of a glorified card holder like so many other slim wallets on the market. I've got the Texas brown version, but there are many different colors to choose from, including traditional ones like midnight black and coffee red, and more vibrant options like marine blue and crazy brown, and they all look really rather good. Another thing I like about this wallet is that it can carry cash, and it does it well. Most of the slim wallets I looked at before buying this one just had a pocket for you to put your folded bills in, or they had a money clip at the back that worked kind of like a bulldog clip. Either way, your banknotes had to get folded and creased and, well, ruined, essentially. The money clip on the Runbox wallet, on the other hand, keeps your cash looking crisp. It's got solid build quality and it holds money very, very tightly. I mean, there's no way your cash is accidentally going to fall out. But the best thing about it is that if you don't plan on carrying any cash, you can simply take the money clip out. It is entirely optional, and I like that you have the freedom to choose whether you want it in your wallet or not. Now, some of the reviews on the Amazon Canada page rightly point out that the wallet seems just a bit too thin to hold Canadian banknotes. American and British notes, for example, are pretty small, so they stay perfectly hidden within the wallet. Canadian notes are slightly wider, so when you put them in, they tend to stick out from the top. Fortunately, there's a really simple solution to this problem. Instead of pushing your money clip as far as it will go, just move it back a few millimeters so it's bordering the edge of the wallet. When you go put your Canadian banknotes in, they won't stick out much at all. Moving the money clip does not in any way affect how tightly it will hold your money. It still works exactly like it should. Moving on to the wallet's card carrying capacity, there are a fair few pockets. At the front, you've got a quick access pocket with a little cutout for your thumb to easily slide the card in and out. I use this for my credit card since it's super convenient to just slide my card out, tap to pay, and then slide it back in, all without having to open my wallet. Ideally, you would only use this pocket to hold the one card you use the most, but you could probably squeeze another one in here if you really needed to. Just keep in mind that sliding your cards in and out won't be as smooth if you've got more than one card in here. On the other side, you'll probably have noticed this little tab. When you pull it, you get instant access to some of your other most used cards. I find this pocket particularly useful for loyalty cards. I just pull the tab, pick the card I need, and then push the rest back into the pockets. Pushing the cards down also pushes the little tab back to its default position, so you don't have to worry about manually stuffing it back down every single time. However, you do sometimes need to push your cards down using your nail if you really want the tab to go all the way down. I actually like the bright red accent for the pull tab since it looks quite striking next to the wallet's dark brown leather, but you should know that the pull tab is always going to be bright red, no matter what version of the wallet you pick. Personally, I think the red looks good with all the colours they offer, but you might think otherwise, so definitely keep that in mind. This pocket can comfortably hold up to three cards or four if you're really pushing it. And that's about it for the outside. Moving on to the inside, you've got a little ID pocket on the right and two card pockets on the left. The pockets on the left are just your bog standard card pockets and they can comfortably hold up to two cards each, three each if you really need them to. The ID pocket on the right has a little thumb cutout so you can easily slide your IDs in and out and it has enough room to comfortably hold two cards. I mainly use this pocket for my driving license and health card. As with the quick access pocket on the outside, you can squeeze another card in here, but it will be really tight. Right now, I've got 15 cards, 5 banknotes, and 2 folded up receipts in the wallet, and you can see that it remains pretty thin. So much so that I can slide it into my jeans front pocket or back pocket and not have it sticking out. It's also small enough that you could put it in your suit's inside pocket, or even in your shirt pocket if, for whatever reason, you needed to. 
Plus, the wallet has RFID blocking material, so all your data should remain safe no matter where you put it. Now, in terms of build quality, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've been using the wallet for a little over a month now, and it seems to be holding up fairly well to regular use. Considering how much the center creases when I open up the wallet completely, and how regularly I've opened it up to put receipts in, or take cards out, or take cash out, the leather really has increased much here. But over on the front, you can see there is a bit of indentation happening on the quick access pockets. When the light is at the right angle, you can see the faint outline of my credit card, along with a raised strip in the middle where the credit card's numbers would be. Stemming from that point, you should know that the leather is a bit soft, so it is susceptible to scuffs and scratches. For example, these two marks here are where my thumb accidentally scraped the wallet when I was putting my credit card in the first time I used the quick access pocket. Definitely do not put this wallet in the same pocket you put your keys in. I think it would get scratched quite easily. That said, I am really pleased with the Runbox Slim wallet, even if the $25 asking price is a bit on the high side when you compare it to the rest of the competition. But according to the Amazon Canada product page, if you buy the wallet and are not 100% satisfied within a year, Runbox will apparently let you return it for a full refund or give you a free replacement. That seems like top-notch customer service and really speaks to how confident Runbox is in the product. So if you're in the market for a professional looking slim wallet, don't have too many cards, and want something that can sometimes hold cash, the Runbox Slim Wallet might just be the wallet you're looking for. Um, actually, I mean the minimalist and slim bifold front pocket wallet with money clip for men by Runbox might just be the wallet you're looking for. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this review helpful. If you've got any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. This has been Zaim Siddiqui from Zeus Reviews, over and out.